Hey girl. Y'all can't see it, but I crossed my legs and I'm ready to answer another question. So, let's answer this question. So this question is from Nasty Gex. I don't know how to say his name properly. Hopefully I said your name properly, but he's commented a couple months ago. Question, my understanding has been that demons are malicious non-human entities that feed on suffering, the kind that you would encounter in some hauntings and or possessions. Do you have a different name for these beings? What is your understanding? One of my older videos where I was talking about how I don't see demons just in general as being bad. I think people describe demons as just a blanket term of just all bad things. And I don't think it's not a wrong to say that all demons are malicious. Depending on your definition, like how Gnostic's definition for demons is, he's categorizing all, he or she is categorizing all bad negative entities that bring want to bring harm to you that are lower vibrational. They're categorizing it as demons, right? So by their definition, that's how it is. And I think it's important to really break down what it is that you define as a demon, because to me, how you perceive that as a demon, then the technical demons that I've connected to wouldn't be considered a demon by that categorization. Does that make sense? Because at least with the beings that I've connected with and worked with and been mentored by, I've only had positive experiences. You know, every single time I've connected with them, I've come from a place of respect like I would any individual or any being and I come from a place of not wanting anything but their knowledge and wanting their perspective on life itself and just their view on things. So for me personally, I've never had a bad experience with it. Now does that mean because I've had, have not had a bad experience with demons that that's gonna be the same case for everybody else? Absolutely not. Some people are going to translate energies differently. And you also have to keep in mind the bias that each individual has. If you Think about it like this. If you are going to be meeting somebody and right before, even before you meet them, you heard all these negative things about this person, about how they're just a toxic, rude person, da 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 da. You go into meeting them with already a perspective of, or an assumption of how they are as an individual. So you naturally will treat them in a certain way. You will speak to them in a certain way because you already have your guard up. You already, because you expect certain behaviors, you're going to naturally prepare yourself for that. So your energy is going to be different. How you approach them is going to be different than somebody who has no idea of who their history at all. They just know that they like this person. You're going to come at them at a much warmer energy. And naturally, the warmer you, the energy, the nicer energy that you project out there, the better you're going to be received by the other per individual, usually, right? And it's no different for demons. It's no different than if you choose to connect with archangels as well. If you don't come from a place of respect, you're you're going to be checked in one way or another. If you go at it from a place of aggression, whether it's a demon, whether it's your spirit guide, well, I don't want to say your spirit guide, but whether it's an archangel, no matter what being it is, you have to remember each of these beings have the personality of their own. Hope with that analogy that makes sense. And to get to, back to your question of how do I categorize those kind of malicious beings, I don't really personally categorize them as anything. My close friend Akelta, I'll link a blog post of hers below, she will categorize them as sludge. That's her complete categorization for anything that's malevolent, that is lower vibrational, that just wishes to feed off of you. And the negative beings that you're talking about, she categorizes them as sludge. And for me personally, I don't, I don't go that deep in terms of trying to categorize those things. I, for if I'm going to describe just like someone that's being haunted or someone that's just afflicted by some lower vibrational being, I just say lower, lower vibrational being, a malevolent being, because like as my name states, I'm simply Velka. I don't like to compliment, complicate things. For me and how I translate energy, I don't care about going into a categorization. That doesn't mean that you shouldn't categorize things. If it makes sense to you in your brain and how you process things, then you have absolutely should. That's why I'm referencing Akelta's blog post in terms of sludge because it's a wonderfully wit written blog post talking about and covering it that's extremely valuable for people but I feel like you, uh, especially the person that asked this question, I feel like you would actually benefit greatly from the blog post but I can only speak in how I approach spirituality just from my own personal perspective. And that's not me saying that how she, how Kelta identifies malevolent beings as sludge is wrong because 
No, I would, I sometimes also use the term sludge just to, depending on who I'm talking to. You know, sometimes I will say sludge and it's simple that way or simpler that way, or just at the time, that's just how my brain is processing things. And that way is just coming up with that categorization. But in my everyday life, I don't nost, I don't categorize, I don't search for a specific name to categorize these lower vibrational beings. I just make it simple and just like lower vibrational being, malevolent being, and just keep it simple like that. I'm not interested in delving deep into categorizations just because that's just not my personal approach on spirituality anymore. My approach is more so just from a place of learning as much as I can, getting as much knowledge as I can. So I do appreciate you asking this question, Nost, just because I feel like it was important to give a definition for what I mean when I say when I work with demons, because I totally understand someone that when they hear me say I connect with demons, if they are categorizing in a similar way that you are, Nost, which is a pretty popular way, they view demons as something that's just levelant, that's trying to bring harm to you, and that's just not the case for me. When I say I work with demons, I work with beings that are that have been categorized as demons, so the Goetia demons. Because I view them, I view demons as a species categorization, just no different than humans or how, you, how we categorize anything, right? And so just like with anything, I kind of touched on this on my last video, I don't, uh, asking if archangels are bad, I don't give the pit bull treatment to archangels and I don't give the pit bull treatment to demons. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that you're going to get pot, like, you, that everything is falsely written about demons, that's something that's, like, perhaps someone's bad experience with an individual demon, but, I am going to tell you, for me personally, I've never experienced anything bad. I've never worked with a demon that brought harm to anybody. If anything, they've helped elevate me in the sense that given me a broader perspective and really just mentored me in going through this life. And you know, for me personally, working with demons have just has just given me a deeper, more balanced perspective. I work with the archangels and get the lighter perspective on things and their approach on things and I work with the demons to get their approach on things, their perspective on things. You see it. Just to clarify, when I say I work with and connect with demons, there's nothing malevolent going on. There's nothing of any sort of selling my soul or anything like that. It's just speaking with an another lightened being and getting their enlightened perspective on things and hopefully have some of their enlightenment rub off on me. And yeah, so thank you so much for this question, Nost. If any of you guys have any other questions, please leave them in the comments below. I would love to start making this a weekly thing where I answer your guys' questions because it's just, I love talking about spirituality, but I need to know that whatever I talk about, it's, some, it's genuinely interesting to someone. So yeah, thank you guys so much for listening to me. And if you haven't heard it today, I see you, I hear you, and I love you so much. Bye guys.